okay. I got a customer complaint. Ice machine shuts off after like a half an hour running. I'm pretty sure it was no water. It wasn't getting any water to it. The filters were plugged. Changed that. But I don't have that great of the spray bar must be plugged up. Or the pump. It's not too likely. I'll have to see. Yeah, there's stuff. You see that one on the far left there? Yeah, there's stuff in there. Yeah, it's got stuff. Yeah. We'll take apart the spray bar first. Um, not getting much water across that evap. Oh, that evap's looking pretty sad too. This whole machine is time to be replaced. in here so perfect time to clean this thing. I'm gonna check out that pump and stuff. So we got but yeah definitely not much in the way of water. Yeah it must be uh the original water pump. There we go. Five ten of two thousand eight. So it must be 2008 machine. This is 2024. So what's that? Like 16 years old? Dang, anyways, water pump. Yeah, everything as you see. Water pump was working, but it's just dirty. I'm thinking no water, dirty. Your basic ice machine scenario. Uh, condenser needs to decrease too. All right, let's get into it. Okay, ice machine cleaning. Uh, ice machine cleaning. Yeah. This works out pretty good. Pretty good. Clean stuff in ice machines. I use this for putting the ice machine cleaner in. Okay, and the copper pipe I use for ramming a sponge. Where's my sponges? Uh, son of a biscuit. Uh, running a sponge through the uh, isomatic spray bars. It's my ramrod. So I got the top all cleaned up, scrubbed. Sides a little bit, and all that a little bit, and cleaned out the hose. Uh, Got to get a longer tube brush. Uh, actually, I think I have one somewhere. I don't know where it is. Um, but anyways, cleaned out the tray and the pump. Oh man, this thing is gnarly. Yeah, inside of that, that's a spray bar tube. Gnarliness. All kinds of black stuff, and I think it's the worst one I've ever done as far as stuff like black stuff. Lots of black stuff. If you guys are wondering what size the isomatic nuts are, they're blue nut driver, which is 3 8 uh, it's, it's a very nice thing. Works in both places. Very cool. Let's run some ice machine cleaner through this thing. That's inside that spray bar is all scaled up. And she was. That's for sure. Hey guys, check out this harvest motor assembly. Um, let me see if I can get in here. Oh, yeah. Check. 
this harvest motor assembly is just hanging here. Uh, check that out. Now what do I do? Son of a biscuit. side and oh or can you just screw it on the wall let me know guys <laughs> it's a new one for me it's rusted right off the wall no place to put a new one on oh. <clears throat> well all I did was uh, cut the wires up there and they're just like right here. Just like four wires. I mean, they're all different colors. So I'm just gonna throw cut off uh, Wagos. So, you know, just use Wagos to connect it back up. I had to take it out so I could clean it up. I was rusted, rust got behind, behind, between it, I guess. What happens is a little bit of rust gets between it and pushes it out and then breaks the bolts. Looks like what happens, so. I'm just going to try screwing it to the thing. There's, if I stick, you can stick your little finger in the hole uh, where this, where the probe goes through, and there's a lot of room. My finger goes in past, you know, the first knuckle. So, um, yeah. So just give it the finger bang and uh, check it out. You got the depth and go for it. Put some screws in it. I think I'm going to drill. Just. Uh, yeah, use some 5 16 screws and a washer maybe. Let's see what we got. See how it works out. Well, hopefully this works. I used uh, that bolt and the bolt right down in there. I used from a true uh, door hinge. They're the self-tappers that go up into the top uh, when you're doing a uh, true, you know, like a, under a prep table door. Those self-tapping screws that go up into the upper frame that are only like one inch long. That's what I used. It self-taps. There's, there's holes already there in the ice machine here. And these screws are self-tappers, so they self-tap tap in and they're the perfect size and they tighten down like a big dog um, so hopefully it works it rotates uh, it rotates real easy so, so there's no hang-ups there so hopefully if this motor works unless this thing's burned out I don't know if it was sitting because it was sitting you know I don't know so um, hopefully cross my fingers crossing my fingers I'm hoping and I'm just going to uh, wago eyes these wires, hopefully, and uh, hopefully give it a test run. Hope, hope, hope. Okay, as I talked about in the video, uh, I wanted to show you uh, which bolt or screw, whatever you want to call it, I used and washer. So, the bolt I used looked like this. It's a self-tapping bolt uh, it like I said it comes when you when you take apart an old true refrigerator um, you end up with a bunch of you know a bunch of all the hardware you know so that's one of the screws right there that goes in the upper uh, upper hinge thing that this thing on a on like a prep table or under counter refrigerator on a true refrigerator the door hinge, the two upper screws. This is one of those screws that I took out of there. And I usually replace them because when we get that new kit, we get some nice long ones. And they're a tiny bit bigger, just a smidge bigger in the diameter, and they fit better. So I, I use these ones. <clears throat> so uh, this is the bolt. Um, it is... Okay, let's... See if I can do this. All right, 
It is what looks to be about uh, about five eighths of an inch long. I'm gonna try and do this. So it's five eighths of an inch long. That's a quarter inch washer that I used on it. So it's quarter inch ID on the washer. And it's a five eighths um, OD on the washer. So a quarter inch inside diameter on the washer. Um, and I guess this would make this bolt uh, pretty close to a, it fits pretty tight, not tight, but uh, pretty darn, pretty darn close to quarter inch. Um, as far as trying to show it here, yeah, it's, eh, it's not quite a quarter inch, it's probably whatever the next, but it works good. So that's the, wa that's the washer. Um, the bolt diameter is um, yeah three sixteenths looks like three sixteenths on the bolt uh, five eighths long uh, self tapping and I guess I think that's all you need to know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they're uh, overall the length on it is a uh, one inch fifteen uh, uh, sixteenths is the overall length on it. That's including the head. So, but uh, yeah, you have about an inch worth of room when you stick your finger in the hole in the behind the evaporator. So you're not gonna hit any tubes. At least I didn't when I did it. So uh, there were holes already. I used the existing holes that the studs broke off from. So uh, when the studs broke off, they left a perfect hole. And I just, these self threaded in with a little pressure. Uh, I used like two 12 inch extensions. <clears throat> um, or two six inch extensions, something like that. Or anyways, in my quarter inch uh, Milwaukee fuel, you know, and just put some pressure on it and uh, it self tapped its way right in there perfectly. It was wonderful, um, held really strong. Um, so there's your overall length. Uh, like I said, um, is uh, it's at um, eight, nine, ten, eleven sixteenths is the overall threaded area, and you take off a sixteenth for uh, the washer. I use the washer, you know, and that shortens it up even more. <clears throat> so, uh, worked perfectly. So, I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, exactly what bolt I used because it was pretty lucky finding the right bolt and it worked out really well so I uh, just wanted to show you guys and the kit I got from Home Depot that has this washer in it stainless steel washer is this kit um, it's a stainless kit nut and washer kit the number on it is that uh, I think let's see if I can there, there, 1001, 382, looks like. Um, let me see, hang on. I got it scrunched up or something. Hang on. Let's see. Oh, it's got more. Let me unscrunch it. See if I can. Okay, there we go. 1001, 382, space 109. So that's the nut and washer kit ever built um that i used this little kit comes in pretty handy um pretty cool kit so uh yeah definitely all stainless 
you know, good for working with food and water and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, definitely stoked on this kit. Um, so here's your barcode number. Uh, let's see what else it says here. Okay. All right. There's the barcode number. And, oh, okay. <clears throat> this is what's in the kit. It's pretty cool. Okay. Well, I must be using the quarter inch flat washers, yeah. Because, okay. Right, so that should do it. Uh, we all carry our little, uh, you know, a lot of junk screws and extra stuff to get us out of the occasional jam. And this turned out that just keeping this old hinge and hardware boy saved my derriere. So, um, yeah, so the 516 screws were the first thing I tried, and they are just a smidge too small. Uh, they go in the hole, but they don't, uh, obviously, they, they don't hold tight. They're just a little bit too small in diameter. Length and everything would have been perfect. So, uh, I'll probably see if I can get a bigger screw than this in my travels or if any of you guys have any suggestions on you know what you guys have used or whatever in the past um you know this would work these obviously are the would work perfect too but they're just way too long you don't you don't have that much room to my uh, i'm pretty darn sure you don't have that much room in that behind that evaporator plate you only got about it maybe an inch you know so i wouldn't use anything that's longer than you know three quarter that's for sure okay all right uh that should cover it all right thanks for watching guys and click like on the video and subscribe all right take care bye